I wanted to capture this moment and just share a few of my thoughts. Uh, many of you already know I'm in Fresno, California. It's uh, February 25th to the 27th. Uh, we just flown in yesterday and uh, the teams have come up from Los Angeles and Reno and uh, I just want to share a few of my personal thoughts. You know, we've lived in a decade that many have called revival. It's been the buzzword, it's been a popular, uh, it's almost cliche. We've heard revival, revival, you know, we've, we've uh, overused the word glory. We've talked about God's glory and God's presence and angels and all of these things that were once very uh, uh, abnormal become common, almost uh, too much commonplace. But after 10, 15 years of what we've called revival, uh, conference after conference, uh, there's never a day of the week, 365 days a year, that there's not some kind of conference on revival, on glory, on signs and wonders, great healing, miracles, all here in America, not to mention the whole world. But I want to give you a picture of after 10 years of claiming we have revival in America, claiming that Michael the Archangel is uh, coming down and helping us and, and all of these uh, illusions of grandeur are taking place. I want you just to take a look where I'm at right now. Look around me here. This is a street downtown Fresno. Show them the garbage. Just start right there and come up. Come back to me. I want to tell you something. This is what's left over. You know, Jeremiah in the book of Lamentations had the same dilemma. Here was a time where it seemed like the church or the culture was uh, at a crescendo. It looked like they had it all together. But he said, now your princes are sleeping in dung heaps. Your children are wandering the streets, uh, hungry on every top of every street. Uh, it talked about your, your people are going to bed in trash heaps and dung heaps. And after 10 years of claiming rehab revival, claiming that angels are on every corner, this is the result. We have the largest homeless population we've ever had since the Great Depression. We have the worst economy we've had in 50, 60 years. And yet we say that we're in revival. The matter of fact is, is that we haven't. And God needs to bring repentance. God needs to have us begin to repent from our claims to fame, our illusion and return to our first love. Because friend, the whole world here in America is wandering the streets and perishing. And I'll tell you, they say we have revival culture. Revival culture in the Bible, friend, was out in the streets every day. It was the church relevant, out here feeding the poor, raising the dead, healing the sick. This is revival culture. This is the backdrop. So Father, we just pray today for those that are watching this, God, to get a revelation, to shake themselves up from their sleep, and to realize, God, that revival is not a buzzword. Revival's is taking action, loving the people, coming out here and making a difference, doing their next conference under the bridge. That's what I would challenge you to do. Check this out. Look at here. We got Christians out here playing guitars today. This is just one segment. This is one small part of their society here. Hundreds of street people here in Fresno. Do your next conference out here. Get a generator, get a stage, invite the big prophets, invite the big speakers, ask them to waive their $3,000, $10,000 fee, and come out here and feed the poor. Come out here and do something that will change the world, man. This is revival. The prophets of the Old Testament, this is where you'd find them. The prophets and leaders of the New Testament, the book of Acts, this is where you'd find them. They'd not be your popular conference speaker. They wouldn't have the fancy website. This is it, folks. So I'm challenging you today. I'm challenging you today. Look at this. Look on the fence here. What a statement they've made with plastic cups. I want to show you something. Watch this. Show them that end sign right there. I want to make a prophetic statement right here. Look on this, on this wall here. First of all, we see praise the Lord with plastic cups. Homeless people have put this up. It's their banner. Now look at here. In. You know what I believe this means? It's an end of an American doctrine. This whole illusion of grandeur, this whole fantasy island of revival that we think that we have is coming to an end. It's coming to an end, folks. And God is bringing us back to our first love. He's putting his spotlight on the lowly, the lame, the hurt, the poor. He's lifting them up now, folks.
and it's an end to the American doctrine. It's an end to the Americanized church. It's coming to an end, folks. The conference, the long line of conferences, the train's coming to a halt, and we're going to see true worship and true praise. This is the beginning, folks. Amen.